Thomas goes on safari. Thomas goes on safari. This is a story about Thomas, the brave blue engine, and the day he went on an adventure very far from home. Thomas was getting ready for a busy day on Sodor when the fat controller arrived with some news. Thomas, I have a very special job for you this week. You are going to travel to Africa to work with Nia on the Kenyan Railway. She has gone ahead so you will meet her there. How exciting, Thomas thought. <laughs> Thomas puffed through Sorda on his way to the docks, where Dilly the Barge was waiting to transport him across the ocean. After a long journey, Thomas arrived on the continent of Africa and headed to Kenya. Thomas was happy to have arrived at last. Hello Thomas, Nia shouted as Thomas pulled up. We are going on a practice run before taking passengers on safari. Hopefully, we will see some lions and elephants in their natural habitat. Thomas knew he should be excited, but he was worried. Weren't elephants really big? Didn't lions have pointed scary teeth? Don't be scared, Thomas, Nia said. <laughs> we'll start with gentle giraffes. Thomas and Nia rolled quietly along the track through the Kenyan Animal Reserve until they spotted a group of giraffes eating leaves. Oh, wow. Thomas stared wow. up in wonder wow. at the tallest creatures he'd ever seen. Giraffes can grow to six meters tall, Nia explained. That's taller than a double-decker bus. Thomas and Nia rolled on visiting the animals on the reserve. Thomas couldn't believe it when Nia told him zebras could run up to 65 kilometers per hour, faster than Birdie the bus. Did you know elephants can drink over 200 liters of water per day? Nia said. Almost as much as fills a swimming pool. Nia warned Thomas that visitors should not get too close to the rhinos. <laughs> Thomas was amazed by all the different animals, but he was still worried about the roaring lions and big elephants. Just then, a giant hippo appeared out of the river with a splash. Thomas was scared. He imagined the hippo was coming after him. He peeped his whistle and sped away up the track. <coughs> Nia chugged after Thomas. She tried to tell him that the hippo wasn't chasing him, but it was too late. Thomas rolled so fast up the track that he didn't see the trouble ahead. What's going on? There had been a landslide and now Thomas was stuck in the mud. Why did you go so fast, Thomas? Nia asked when she arrived. Not to worry, I'll go and get the tow ropes to pull you out. Sorry, Nia. I was scared and went too fast. Thomas was embarrassed. But instead of digging Thomas out, Nia's crew started putting more mud on him. On hot days, hippos coat themselves in mud, Nia explained. This will keep you cool while I fetch help. When Nia returned to tow Thomas out of the mud, he was dirtier than he had ever been. I stayed nice and cool thanks to your idea with the mud, Thomas said. Those hippos are clever. Nia pulled him free and took him to be washed down by a friendly elephant. Thomas was no longer scared of this giant but gentle creature. <laughs> Nia took Thomas back to the river to show him a family of hippos. 
He realized they weren't scary either, as long as you didn't get too close. <laughs> there is a lot we can learn from animals if we pay attention, replied Nia. After their practice run, Nia and Thomas took lots of passengers on safari. Everyone had a great time and Thomas even conquered his fear of lions. The engines were ready to head home. I've learned more about animals and I hope to come again soon, Thomas said. He peeped goodbye to Kenya. Thomas and Nia arrived back on Sodor, excited to see all their friends. As Thomas puffed back to the Tidmouth sheds, ready to have a long sleep, he saw the sheep and cows in the fields. I can have a safari right here in Sodor, Thomas laughed. <laughs> it's fun visiting new places, but it's good to be home. We hope you enjoyed the story. Subscribe and we'll see you next time for one more book.